have you ever heard of people getting banned on Etsy for absolutely no reason? And the hypothesis in the Etsy community being rogue robots perma banning people randomly? Well, we might have a confirmation on this topic, and it's something that came from the mouth of the CEO himself. And everything shut down. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dave. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And shout out to everybody grabbing the free Etsy ads cheat sheet in the description below. Let's jump into the video. This is kind of big news, um, and I'm surprised I missed it. Um, At a virtual conference, this is what Josh Silverman said. This is pretty big. I'm surprised the community hasn't talked about this more. So Silverman said right here, we were able to launch a filter on Etsy that identified and pulled off any item that's on Etsy that's also on Timu. That's pretty big news right there in itself. So it's good and bad. So it's good because, hey, they're actually using like some technology, AI technology to to go and find listings on Etsy that shouldn't be there, drop shipping products, etc. That's awesome. My guess is that if they launch it in a few days, it it just goes based off of photos. Uh, I mean, obviously, just goes based off of photos. So if somebody's explicitly putting a Temu product onto Etsy, then it's easy to take them off. But the next thing that is inevitably talked about here with this topic is there's going to be bycatch. There's going to be people getting banned for absolutely no reason. Why? Because the reverse is happening. Temu and AliExpress sellers are taking Etsy pictures, putting it on their listings, then sending some kind of, you know, their own, their ripped off product of that photo. So there's bycatch with this AI system. And if they were able to launch it, we were able to launch a filter on Etsy within a matter of days, it's going to be terrible. It, the system's going to be terrible. Yeah, right here. We created and launched that filter within a matter of days. Awesome. Yeah. So that matter of days system that you created is ruining the lives and livelihood of sellers that aren't breaking any rules. That's the roughest part of that situation. And, you know, Etsy only has like 1,100 employees. They need people to manually review what these bots are finding. They There's no way that any, maybe they do. Maybe they have just like one person clicking, okay, ban. But those people need to be trained like on how to spot these counterfeit products or drop shipping products. Because honestly, I can go on Etsy right now and there's a few specific searches I know of that if I type it in right now, I'll, I know of, I, I, it's easy to find drop shipping products and it's really obvious. I found one yesterday and I wasn't even trying. Two sellers selling the same exact product. And it is, it's not POD or anything like that. It's, it's a watch. So it's kind of crazy how they're asleep at the wheel. But this is big news. They created a bot. That's a good thing. So it's a good thing that they actually are doing something, but it's a bad thing that they're not handling it properly. But I just wanted to make this video to share this with you guys and, and let you know that uh, a bot is coming for you. Or, you know, if you, if you have your stuff stolen and it's put on Tamu and AliExpress, that could be a kiss of death right there. Um, so definitely you might want to be cross-referencing your stuff because one time I found my product on AliExpress. This was a crazy situation, actually. I found my product on AliExpress. The AliExpress seller stole my photos, blurred out my name on the product card, and were selling my product. Like, they just remade it. I don't know what the quality was like or anything, but they just were remaking it. And it was nuts. Then, going on from there, which was even crazier, I found an Etsy seller that was drop shipping those fake products, those fake ripped off products that the AliExpress was, seller was selling. So it was like a complete cluster F of, of ridiculousness. And when I reached out to the Etsy seller drop shipping the ripped off product of mine, they were real sassy. Um, but they got taken down. I talked to Etsy and I threatened AliExpress too. I told, I, I just bluffed my way to, to victory. I told them, that I spoke to the Chinese government and I talked to the American government and I'll be, they'll be in huge trouble and all this stuff. It was great. It worked. Uh, I posted, a, this was like three years ago. I posted a video about it. I think I since took it down, but that's the news of the day. There's a rogue bot that they developed within a matter of days, taking Etsy listings down and you might get caught in the crossfire. 
Let me know what you think in the comments below and have a beautiful day.